In this video, I will be reviewing the Western Digital Elements 5TB external hard drive. I got this hard drive to do the backup of my PC. I will be measuring the read and write speeds of this hard drive while connecting it to the USB 3.0 port of my PC. And I will also give you an overview about its noise level and about its construction. The hard drive comes well protected and it is in a shockproof packaging. The packaging contains a hard drive, a USB cable, and a product leaflet. The construction itself feels solid and well made. It is compatible with USB 3.0 and it is also backward compatible with USB 2.0. Of course, to gain the most of its speed, you need to connect it to a USB 3.0 port. It is also 5400 RPM and it is pre-formatted with NTFS. It has a two years warranty and it doesn't need an external power to power it up. It gets its power from the USB cable. USB 3.0 ports usually are colored blue and this is how you can identify them. So here I am plugging in the hard drive in my Dell Inspirons 3.0 USB port. It is instantly recognized by Windows as you notice if you want to use it on Mac, you should format it with a file system that is compatible with Mac, like XFAT. So, here are the properties of the hard drive as Windows see it. I already copied some data to it, but you can see its capacity is recognized as 5000 GB, which translates roughly to 4.6 TB. The first test I will be doing is a Crystal Disk Mark benchmark. This will show us the anticipated speed of the hard drive. So this test shows us that we can expect speeds of around 120 to 130 megabytes per second in both read and write operations. So let's verify these speeds with real life tests. The first real usage test I'm doing is copying a large file from my computer to the hard drive. This file is around 9 gigabyte and my computer has an SSD drive so in no way it will be a bottleneck to the hard drive. And this way we can test the real speed of the hard drive and the writing operation. As you see, it is performing very well. And as a side note also, this hard drive is not noisy at all, even under heavy load. So the average write speed of a large sequential file is around 120 megabyte per second, which is very, very good. And this confirms the number that we got from Crystal Disk Mark. Let's do now the second real usage test, which is copying a large number of small files to the hard drive, always from my SSD drive. This test is usually harder on the hard drives, but you see here that the Western Digital Elements is performing well. It is not as fast as one large file. It is averaging around 115 megabytes per second and it has some small dips but it also recuperates very fast and it goes back to its cruising speed which is around 115 megabytes per second let's go now to the third real usage test which is copying a large file from the hard drive to the ssd drive of my computer and the reading speed as you notice it is steady around 120 megabytes per second it is not as fast as what Crystal Disk Mark showed us for reading a large sequential file. It was around 130 megabytes with Crystal Disk Mark, and here we're getting around 120, 122 megabytes per second, which is not bad at all. So let's go now to the fourth and final test, which is reading a large number of small files from the hard drive and copying it to my local SSD on my computer. And for the test to be accurate and for us to be able to compare reading to writing speeds, I'm using the same set of small files that I used in the writing speed test before. So here, as you see, we have the same small dips, but on average, we are averaging around 115 megabytes per second, which is also really very good. So in summary, I say that this is a very good value hard drive and it has very good speeds both in read and write operations but you need also to keep in mind that over time hard drives mechanical ones get to be fragmented so 
you may notice a small dip in the small files read and write operations. But this is not an issue in my opinion. And I'm very glad that I purchased this hard drive and it's working very well for my backup purposes. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.